Today I'm going to find out how well the Fender Twin Tone Master Series amplifier handles pedals. Let's do it. Welcome back folks, this is Shane. So today we're going to see how well the Fender Twin Tone Master Series amplifier takes pedals. I've got my pedal board on the floor and I've also selected a few others as well. Some more common ones that you might want to use also with this amp. Now this is a digital modeling amp and I did a full deep dive review. If you want to see that video, I'll leave a link up in the cards. Today's video premise is just to see how well it takes pedals. I have the amp mic'd up with an SM57 and we're also running out of the XLR out. We're going to also see whether or not the XLR direct out with the IR is just as good as using the actual microphone in front because you know on the recordings in the actual review that I did, the XLR out totally blew me away. So we're gonna give this a shot. I'm just gonna play some stuff on this Flying V to start with. This is neck pickup and this is the clean tone. That's my clean tone. Now with the left side of the Royal Flush on, which is the higher gain side. Sounds great. With the other side of the Royal Flush on, so I'm going to be boosting the gain and the volume. Alright, just for a comparison, you were listening to the SM57 in front of the amplifier. Let's swap over to the built-in IR from the XLR out. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now with some delay, thanks to the Citex Arena. This does drop the volume a little bit, this delay pedal. It's nothing to do with the amp. It's just inherent of this particular design. So um, part of the way through this, testing the, the actual delay on, I'm gonna click on the clean boost as well. So it's gonna get kind of crazy. Still bridge pickup and back to the SM57. <laughs> So if you're wondering how it sounds in the room, it sounds absolutely huge. I'm running the amplifier on the 40 watt setting instead of the 85. I blew my ears out yesterday doing the full video of this with it at 85 watts. So in this room, 40 watts is more than enough and it should still sound pretty massive and it's taking the pedals to my ear pretty well. I can't wait to listen back to the recording and check it out. So I'm gonna mix up the pedals and I'll be back in just a sec. Let's try some single coil tones now to see how they respond with a few different pedals that I've chosen. We're going to start clean on bridge and middle pickups. Let's start with the Keeley compressor pedal. That sounds beautiful, and what I'll do now, I'll swap over to the XLR output so you can see how that sounds. All right, and now back to the microphone, over to the Maxon Overdrive Pro, one of my favorites, this is Neck Pickup. That 
That's how that pedal sounds. I'm so used to it. <laughs> <laughs> and now over to the Clazo drive from Greenchild. This particular overdrive has so much attitude and push. And let's see how well it works with this amp. This is bridge pickup on clean. Now that's one of those full range overdrives, so it has more low end than the Tube Screamer, it also has more top end, um, and you can't really shape the mids, it's just like a bass and treble control on there, but yeah, a lot of people will like those full range overdrives, so that's why I picked that one. And lastly, over to the Pell 800 Gold Overdrive, this is a Marshall in a box, it's one of the best I've ever used, and I've just set it up with this amp, and I think it sounds pretty great, let me know what you think, here we go. So that's the Fender Clean. So right at the end there, I put the compressor on it before the actual Marshall in a box from uh, the PAL 800. So yeah, to my ear, that was that was screamingly loud, even at 40 watts. I do have the amp on four, and you would think that wouldn't be that loud, but it is. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. In the room, that sounded huge. I would have no hesitations taking this to a gig, which is what I'm going to do tomorrow night uh, and using my pedal board. I, I just think this is going to sound great, but let me know your thoughts. Thanks again. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. So what do I think of the tones of this with pedals? Now I had a quick listen to the recording, I actually didn't, and then I thought, now I'm gonna add this into the video because I think this is important. I like the tones of the amplifier with the mic in front of it. I also like the clean tones of the XLR straight out, but the XLR out, running some of these pedals into it, sounded just a little bit fizzy, but it, it's still very usable if you're at a live gig to stop you from having to set up a microphone. But yeah, the, the amp tones to my ears sounded best with the microphone in front of them, but the other amp tones are still usable going from the XLR out, but they're not quite as nice. But let me know what you think. I'll leave a poll up in the cards and you can vote up here as well. Let me know which one you like best and why in the comments, but I'm gonna do this with no post-production. All I've done is adjust the levels of each track so they're comparable, and that is it. I don't post-production my videos in terms of the you know, of the audio. I want you to hear it as I'm hearing it in the room. So that's just a mic in front of the speaker. You know, as you move the speaker in front of the actual, or as you move the microphone in front of the speaker, you get drastically different results. But I was recording with this yesterday and I thought, I like the tones I was getting. So that's where I'm leaving the speaker. And hopefully this is helpful. So if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again. Don't forget, check out my full deep dive review up here in the cards. That will link you through to my 20 odd minute video going into all the features about this amplifier and all the different tones and all that kind of stuff. Or you can go to guitarpedaldemos.com where I've written a full article about this amp. So you can go check that out as well. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.